So the next part, um, we have some SQL databases also that have to be backed up. So let us go to our database section. Let us choose a 2008 R2 SQL database server. Therefore, we install a client on that um, SQL database machine. Choose new backup task. Sorry, that's not my machine where I can where I have the permission. <laughs> Let me choose my. Then we have uh, the option Microsoft SQL Server available and therefore we can uh, browse the databases, the instances of that machine and as you can see it here it's only a de demo database so uh, the only thing is just to choose the database therefore you have uh, the complete task with that database but you can also choose uh, the option SQL Server as you can see it here with the option all and all instances and all database bases are backed up automatically. Backups okay. can be done full differential and incremental and the incremental backups um, do nothing more than um, backing up the log files and that's very important because with the incremental backup you also give him the the incremental flag the SQL server so he knows okay I can truncate my log files now. Um, pretty easy and for the restore you have uh, also the options available that you have seen before from the other tasks so that means uh, if I restore the, the database I just choose the database that I want and then I can restore it to an original target or can restore it to a new target so I can create a new database for that. For example, if I want to say, okay, it should be a new database because I need a mirror of my database to compare, then just uh, choose a new name and that's it for the restore.